What up everyone? So have you ever wanted one of those cool looking staff bags but you don't want to pay that price or deal with all that bulk that comes in it? We may have found a solution in Ping's DLX golf bag. And we're gonna see how this thing looks in person. All right, here we go. So guys, if you enjoy these kind of videos, please go ahead and hit that like and subscribe video. It really helps me out. You know, as we get closer to 100 subscribers, I might have a special uh, Christmas giveaway for someone if we get to that number before Christmas. So check back for that later. Let me know below if there's anything else you want me to review. So let's check out some more features on this. In this bag, there is a lot of like little fine details and just the material. Everything's a little bit more high quality. I feel like it's very similar to the Ping Pioneer. This is just kind of like the luxury version. It's kind of like cars. You've got your base model, your mid-tier, and then you've got the premium leather seats that are heated or cool. You've got the GPS. You've got all the extra little fine detailings in those premium models. That's what this bag is. It's like a luxury Pioneer bag. Very similar. There's a few little changes here and there. Nicer details on the inside when it comes to organization. Ping bags do, I feel like, have the best organization when it comes to their pockets. This bag does come in at a bit of a heftier price point at the 335 mark. It's a little bit more than your normal, typical stand bag, but it does have a higher quality material. Most bags don't have it's almost kind of that like leather look to it I feel like that will be a little bit more durable than nylon this bag is definitely top-notch when it comes to quality this bag definitely warrants that higher price tag if that's something you're looking about comparison to most other bags it's kind of on par it does have that thicker material so I'm sure it's a little heavier but honestly I was carrying this compared to my painting pioneer I don't notice much of a difference to be honest with you so I did also enjoy just the like quality of these zippers on here bigger easier just to grab a hold of oh, puppy dog. nice rip on there it's easy to grab a hold of whether you have a glove on or if you have a hard time gripping things oversized pockets and then how these zippers don't go all the way down they kind of stop to keep from anything from falling out so that way you don't have to worry about zipper busting or material ripping that is one solid piece along with that extra reinforced final bottom it's a nice little subtle detail they put in there another nice feature is it's got these nice like nylon pockets here so if you just want to put something in there you can get in and out quickly maybe a snack or something grab something out so you don't have to dig around trying to figure out where it is so it is a 15 slot full divide bag so you've got room for all your clubs and then an oversized spot for your putter grip which is nice with the extra padding on there kind of keep your putter in a little bit nicer condition since that is your most used club and find them with the ping bag key clip for your keys so that way there's no losing them i've always made it first thing i do is clip on my keys and last thing i do is take them off so that way i know i won't ever lose my keys no one wants to deal with that so i did like on these plastic grips that you have you do have an extra little like hard cushion there to grip onto so that's a nice little detail in that they've done pocket is water resistant seal so it's got this like rubber finish on there and it does have like a nice little pocket in there that also feels like that is some water resistant material to really make sure you when know, you put your phone in there it's not going to get scratched and it's not going to get wet and it does include a rain cover which is nothing special it's a rain cover nothing crazy to it. it does have your classic little spots two for your pencils one for marker or yeah i've got three total there right above that you do have a spot for four t's a zipper inside the pouch to where if you drop something in there you can reach in and grab something out from inside the bag of the slots where you put your clubs why is there a zippy here there's no way to unzip this it's got something to do with the manufacturing but odd placement i thought comment below and let me know because i would love to find out what this is for it does have this magnetic spot for your balls that you can put in there you can fit just a box in there if you want and then some have plenty of room for loose so it's rather large there's definitely plenty of real estate in there for you to get anything you may need in there felt pocket above that where you can put in some more materials maybe your wallet or something and it has this front pocket here again maybe you can store more teas in there or a little divot tool or whatever it does have a little spot for water to come out so another great feature that i think ping really has the market cornered in would have to be their cooler pocket i mean this thing is oversized i mean you can fit just about everything in there that you need video right here you can fit quite a few um pops in there it does have a nice little drain hole for you so if you want to put some ice in there not a problem it'll just drain out right there you got yourself a nice little built-in cooler that's nice and discreet so you've got this big blank canvas here why not get this embroidered really give yourself that staff bag look it only have to do to take this in somewhere you just unzip the cooler pocket pouch here and it's just held on by velcro and boom, you've got yourself a nice little panel here to get embroidered with your name or maybe your YouTube channel. 
And I believe unlike a lot of the other uh, club manufacturers like TaylorMade or Callaway bag, Ping actually has their own factory that makes their bags, kind of like a Sun Mountain or you know, Indigo or whatever the other brands are that are just bag manufacturers. And right here's the range finder pocket. So according to the website, they claim this is magnetic. And while that is true, it's more like one of those chintzy refrigerator letter magnets than an actual magnet. I mean, it's a magnetic. Yes, that's true. But I don't know if I'm trusting my range finder in there. It's not very deep either. I think it's more useful for maybe some uh, water balls or some extra balls you don't care about. One of the downsides though is when it comes to this little pull tab, it just looks like a little extra piece of material. It seems like they could have done a little bit nicer. It looks like they kind of like, oh, whoops, I forgot. Flap on a tab of extra material real quick. Nice tackiness to it, but it just kind of looks like an afterthought personally. I do feel like they left a lot of real estate here just open. There's nothing going on here, which I don't understand why you wouldn't have extra T spots there or pin or it's just sitting there. No reason to slap on another piece of material and make a little pouch. I feel like they did such a good job of making it nice and discreet on here and looks real clean they could have uh, done something else on this side. So they've got this nice material here, but then you have the nylon here where the bag strap comes in where I've had with other bags that wears quite a bit right there on that seam. So I wish they would have just carried that over just a little bit farther, just at least covered that edge right there. So overall, one of my favorite features on here that kind of blew my mind a little bit, as simple as it is, it's just a great overall idea. Most of us don't wear off golf cleats in our car and we don't wear our shoes on the course. So kind of got that in between. Ping kind of came up with a little ingenious idea to solve that problem. So what they did is they added little pouches on the back here. So you can have a spot for your shoes while you're playing or when your bag's just set aside, you got a spot for your golf shoes. And these shoes right here, these are size 15 and these aren't falling out. Just a great idea. If you don't want to use those, and they come right out like this, they just easily tuck in there. That's just such a great idea. I don't know if any other bags have that, but when I saw that, I was completely blown away. I thought that was just a great idea. Just the simplicity of it is wonderful. So overall, I do think the Ping DLX bag is a great bag. If you're looking for more of that premium, high quality staff looking bag, it's definitely a bag for you. You know, your mileage may vary on whether the price at 355 is worth it to you. If you want that more minimalistic, maybe even more durable, classic looking bag, it's definitely a great bag to consider and look into. It's got a lot of nice little just nuances and features. Otherwise, if you are looking for just more of a classic, normally priced bag, I do suggest you check out my video here on the Ping Pioneer bag. If you want to see other product videos, click over here to watch those. And don't forget to subscribe.